Welcome to another Plumtrician's Boiler installation. Today, we're installing the Baxi 200 combination boiler. That's me you see there, who will be carrying out the work. Please do not attempt anything like this unless you are gas safe registered and competent to do so. Let's dive straight in. Note that all services have been isolated the gas, water and electricity supply. The system has been drained, so we are ready to remove the old boiler. We've tested to ensure the electricity supply is off. Now that we're satisfied it's completely disconnected, we can start removing the old pipework and prepare for the new installation. Here we see the gas pipe being removed, followed by the pressure relief valve and finally the flow pipe. The boiler is now being hoisted off the wall. It's a bit of a struggle, but as usual, we've managed to get it off. Excuse the cobwebs on my hat. It's a dusty compartment. With the boiler off, you can see the wall is in pretty bad shape. Anyway, we're going to mount the new bracket As you can see, the new bracket is up for the new boiler. There you have it, the bracket is on. This compartment was a very small and tight space to work in. No worries, it's all part of the job. Also, this wall is in very poor condition. Parts of it were actually crumbling, so I was pleased to get a solid fix on the wall for the new boiler. Just a quick note on hanging boilers. You must ensure a solid fix to the wall. The last thing you want is for the boiler to fall off the wall. I've known this to happen to other engineers, so it's not impossible. Take those extra steps to ensure a secure fix. What we'll have to do with this one is some additional sand and cementing to ensure our pipes going through the wall are adequately sealed. We don't want to leave gaping holes after the installation. It's just not a good look. Again, take extra care when drilling, especially with crumbling walls, as the drill can drift, making it challenging to get precise holes. Okay. We have the new Baxi 200 on the wall. We'll start with the flow pipe work on the far left. Let's get it in. So the flow pipe is in. Our second pipe is the hot water outlet, which will supply hot water to the taps. The third pipe going in is the gas pipe. The fourth is the cold water mains, which will be connected to our filling loop. And the last pipe there is the return, which is also linked to the filling loop and will incorporate the MagnaClean filter. Here we see the filling loop installed. So, once all additional pipes have been installed. The setup looks like this. You can see the condensed pipe and pressure relief have been included. 
Now we're making steps to tidy up the flue and patch any additional holes we have. Here are our holes patched up. With the plumbing complete, a return visit will be required to tidy up those trailing cables. They will be put in trunking. The pipes will be lagged for insulation, internally and externally. Please like, share and subscribe. Your comments are appreciated. Feel free to let us know what you think of our boiler install. Thanks for watching.